What's happening everyone? Steve here, Cars with Steve, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay inside of the 2021 Ford Edge. Now, this is a straightforward process and one of the beautiful things, it's now wireless. So wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. Literally is only going to take like two or three minutes jumping in between each system. So let's dive into it, have a little bit of fun, and see how we can set these things up. Moving into our phone list. So the phone, one of the nice things about this Sync 4 system is that it does support wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is new for 2021. So on your phone, in order to set up a phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, we'll start off on the iPhone side of things. All you're gonna do is just make sure your phone's unlocked and we're just gonna go into our settings, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And get, actually, next thing, we're gonna have to make sure we hit add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Okay, so as you can see there, Ford Edge is showing up, so we're just going to select that. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. Okay, and we need to make sure that the pin numbers match up, which they do, so we're going to hit yes and pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Yep, we want to do that. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Boom! We are connected. Now, as you can see there, we've got 911 assist that's shown up as well. So select that one. And the big reason why is because if you're ever in an accident and the vehicle senses the collision, it's automatically going to dial 911 for you. So just make sure that one's selected, hit finish. And lastly, it's also saying that my phone supports Apple CarPlay. So in order to enable, back on my phone, it's saying use CarPlay with Sync 4. Yep, we want to do that. Okay, there we go. Phone supports Apple CarPlay, so we need to make sure that we enable it there. Connecting to CarPlay. All right, and we are now connected. So as you can see there, we've got my phone messages. And one of the nice things is that if your Edge does not have Maps built in, you can use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wirelessly to connect to either Apple Maps, Google Maps, or Waze. And you can use those directly through this middle screen, which is incredible. Like I love the fact that we've got that capability to do it because if we don't want to rely on the factory navigation because maybe you prefer to use Waze instead, you've got the ability to easily do that. Moving back, as you can see, we've got some basic settings. We've got LiveX Live, which is a radio app, so we can use certain apps directly through this middle screen. Now, one thing to point out, if for whatever reason your app's not showing up, all you're gonna do is make sure that your operating system's up to date, and from there, you're gonna make sure that your app is up to date, and then you're set to go. Now, a couple things, and one of the nice things that I do like about CarPlay is that if we go into the general settings on our phone, we can go to CarPlay, we can select the vehicle, and we can now customize the tray. So where that comes into play is maybe you have a tendency to listen to your podcast more. We can drag that to the top and that's a dynamically adjusted it. Maybe you prefer to use Waze as well. So we've got both of them kind of simultaneously there. Now, as you're playing around with this, if you find that you've kind of done one too many things and you don't like the look of it, on your phone, all you're gonna do is just hit the reset button along the top, reset layout and watch what happens. So it's gonna zero everything out, default you back to that factory default setting there instead. Now we've got the ability to easily disable and toggle CarPlay on or off as necessary. So we've got my phone list, we can look at my phone, we can disable CarPlay, we can go to my phone settings, so we can completely remove it as well. So if we wanted to auto maybe disable Apple CarPlay, look at that, fully disabled now, but my phone is still connected over Bluetooth. So we've got a lot of flexibility when it comes down to it, and that's the basics of connecting an iPhone to this new Sync 4 system. Connecting an Android device is literally the exact same process. So all we're gonna do is just make sure that we go into our Bluetooth settings. And as you can see there, we've got my Bluetooth turned on. So we're just gonna hit add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And we've got Ford Edge that's shown up. So we're just gonna collect, uh, connect to Ford Edge and watch this. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. So exact same thing. We just need to make sure that we're pairing there with the proper vehicle. So pins match up. So we're going to hit yes and pair. All right, here we go. So as you can see there, I am connected. Now the device itself does support Android Auto. So we want to make sure that we enable that in just a second. So on the screen there, it's also asked me, do I want to allow access to my contacts? Yes, we want to allow. All right, and in order to use it, we just need to go to my car screen. So we need to enable Android Auto. Look at this, look at this. Android Auto would like to pair, so we're just going to select Next. 
three, two, one, and we are connected. Look at this, look at this. So one of the nice things, we can use maps on there as well. So if you have a tendency to, I don't know, maybe you prefer to use Apple or Google Maps, I should say, if you had Waze connected, it would work directly through this middle screen as well. So as I mentioned, you don't have to rely on factory navigation anymore. You can now use Google Maps, Apple Maps, Android, Google, whatever maps you want to directly through this middle screen. It's really, really nice and it's laid out extremely well. Now, very similar to the Apple side of things. So if on our phone, we do a search for Android Auto, there we go. As you can see, we've got some basic app settings and app information. So we just go to app settings and look at this. So we've got the car that we're currently connected to. We've got the ability to use our Google detection. We can resume media. We've got our Google assistant and a number of other things. We've got the flexibility to kind of change things around a little bit as well. So if you have a tendency to maybe use certain apps or you don't want to use certain apps, we can kind of do a mix and match and kind of play around with them. But one of the nice things is that we do. So look at that. So customized launcher, very similar to what we saw on the Apple side of things. We can kind of drag these around if you have a tendency to listen to certain ones. Now, one thing that's different on the Android side of things is that we do need to actually reset Android Auto in order for this to work. So we just have to relaunch it in order for it to work, but you can dynamically update this as well. Moving back, so very similar to the Apple side of things, we can, we've got our Siri dictation. We've also got Google dictation, so our Google Assistant. So we've got our notifications and our Google Assistant. So we can either press that button or we can say, hey, Google. Look at that. So it's brought up our Google Assistant as well. Now, one thing to note is that in Canada, we do not have the Ford Alexa app. However, if you're down in the States, you've got the ability to use Ford Alexa directly through this middle screen as well. And that literally are the basics of setting up a phone and very straightforward. We've got the ability to go back into our screen there. We can look at my phone list in order to see what phones are currently connected. Because we've got multiple phones connected, we can disable them, we can look at settings, we can set it as a favorite device if you've got multiple phones connected, and we can completely remove it. So we hit remove, and as you can see there, it is now fully removed from the vehicle, and I've just got my iPhone connected there. And that's the basics of how you set up a phone on this Sync, 3, or Sync 4 screen. What did I tell you? Super simple process, right? But if you run into any problems, drop down in the comment section below. Let me know, and I'm more than willing to talk you through the process. If you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And until I see you next time, make sure you stay safe.